Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be continuing to talk about how Rockstar is celebrating the Festive Surprise 2020 update here in Grand Theft Auto Online. So on the Newswire today, Rockstar said, Happy Holidays and the Holiday 2020 season arrives in Grand Theft Auto Online. So Rockstar says, Season's greetings to one and all. The holidays are in full swing in Southern San Andreas. Along with a fresh blanket of snow covering the landscape, local businesses like the Diamond are decked out with festive decorations, and local vendors are offering all sorts of seasonal delights. Be sure to stop and snap a quick selfie by the tree in Legion Square from the warm and friendly confines of your festively decked out penthouse. Plus, for a limited time only this week, treat yourself to a range of seasonal gifts in Grand Theft Auto Online. Tis the reason for season, after all. So let's just start with the general stuff that's returning. Everything that usually arrives in the festive surprise from years past is back again. So it is snowing in Los Santos right now. If you go to any of the clothing stores, there's going to be free festive sweaters, accessories, outfits, and more. If you go to the Vespucci movie mask shop, there's going to be free masks that you can acquire. Uh, obviously, a lot of the locations around Los Santos, like Legion Square, are going to have giant Christmas trees. A lot of the places that you go to, like your own personal properties and apartments, are going to be decorated with Christmas lights, Christmas trees. Public places like the Diamond Casino and Resort are going to be decked out with snowflakes that you can see on the video screens and big Christmas trees inside as well. So there's a lot going on in Grand Theft Auto Online that you've come to know and love over the last couple of years. Now, what's really cool is Rockstar giving away a bunch of seasonal gifts. And this is what they had to say. Playing Grand Theft Auto Online at any time between now and December 30th will get you these gifts. The Vibrant Stitch Emissive Mask, the Red Bleeder Festive Sweater, the Green Cluck and Bell Festive Sweater, the Tartan Livery for the Ocelot Ardent, the Buckingham Akula, and the Karen Technical Custom, the Candy Cane Livery for the Comet Safari, Heavy APC, and HVY Insurgent Pickup, and a care package containing the Firework Launcher, 20 Firework Rockets, a full supply of snacks and armor, 25 Sticky Bombs, 25 Grenades, 10 Proximity Mines, and 10 Molotovs. So I'm imagining you're going to get one of these items per day as there are nine days of the festive season or at least between now and December 30th. And there are nine items that Rockstar giving away. I think the care package you'll get every single day. Now today, I ended up getting the Vibrant Stitch Emissive Mask, which you guys can see here. So this is actually a pretty cool gift because it actually takes advantage of the illumination function or feature that you can use in your interaction menu. So you can make the mask glow or pulse or flash or turn it on or off. That's pretty awesome. And we're also getting some exclusive Christmas-esque liveries for six vehicles, which is really cool. The Ocelot Ardent, Buckingham Akula, Karen Technical, Comet Safari, Heavy APC, Heavy Insurgent Pickup Custom, two free sweaters, which have not been made available yet. So that's pretty awesome. And Obviously, every single day getting that care package is quite nice. Now, the only other thing that Rockstar has announced is that if you go to the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site between today, which is the 22nd, and the 30th, you can get the compact and nimble Grotti Brioso 300 for free. So that is actually something we covered in a much early on video that you can get the Brioso for free. So I will leave a link to that in the description if you'd like to check that out for yourself. Now, Rockstar did not go into any more specifics on things they're actually planning or the potential days in which snowfall is going to stop or when the festive surprise is going to end. I would find it highly unlikely that the festive surprise would end on December 30th before even New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So I think this is honestly just part one of part two. We're going to get this event, which is a couple of days before Christmas and leads us right up until New Year's Eve. And then I actually think there's going to be another set of gifts that we get uh, on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and for the first part of 2021. So I'm excited to see what Rockstar has planned, but they were just really like vague in this Newswire post. I don't really understand why. Like it's cool that they laid out all the gifts, but like 
are we getting them on a specific day? Like, did everyone get the vibrant stitch emissive mask like I did today? Or are people getting the gifts out of order? Like some people ended up getting one of the sweaters or one of the liveries today. Like, I don't know. Rockstar are, are not being very specific here. Now, the only other thing that was kind of interesting is on the Newswire, they actually made this like postcard of Cayo Perico, which is actually really cool. It says, happy holidays. And you can see there are these like palm trees folding down and they have these ornaments coming from it. And Cayo Perico does not have any snow on it. You guys can see it's the normal island right there. And they're also using like the normal uh, festive surprise logo. So it looks like Rockstar has not created a 2020 version here, which I guess is okay. It just would have been cool if they had done something like that. But overall, this is kind of a fun way in which Rockstar is celebrating the holiday season here in Grand Theft Auto Online. So it looks like you're going to have to log on again every single day if you want these gifts. That's why I wish Rockstar kind of laid out a schedule. It just seems super bizarre that they're just like randomly saying these are the gifts you're going to get if you play between X, Y, and Z, like, because I know a lot of you guys are probably very busy right now, balancing your work schedule, your school schedule. I mean, on the actual holidays themselves, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, you might not be able to hop on. You might be busy with friends and family. And so this doesn't tell you what you might be missing out on. It's just random. So I'm not exactly too sure how Rockstar is going to deliberate these gifts and how they're going to roll out your best bet is just hop on every day. Now, the best part of that is you don't need to hop on for very long. Like as you guys saw in this gameplay footage here, the second you hop on and you go outside, like if you spawn in your penthouse for a second, you go outside, the second you do that, you end up getting the gifts. So you do not have to log on very long at all. So even if you literally have like 30 seconds, uh, it's something that you can do and then get back to celebrating the holiday with friends, family, whatever you might be doing. So I would, of course, love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you officially think of the Festive Surprise 2020? Do you think it's a good update? Do you think it's a bad Christmas update? Uh, I am personally going to hold off my judgment for now because I do think Rockstar might have a bit more planned over the next couple of days and weeks. But for now, it just seems kind of like bland. It's like, here's all these random gifts that you're going to get. But other than that, it's like, well, why haven't you announced other stuff that could be potentially fun? And why does it seem so random? So I'm going to hold off my judgment for now. But this is Rockstar's way of celebrating holiday 2020 in GTA Online. I would, of course, again, love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think about it? Good, bad, in between? Let me know in those comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Cayo Perico heist and festive surprise videos that I'll be doing here on my channel over the next couple of days and weeks. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.